Hello, I'm Mark Ashcroft, RF Business Development Manager here at Pico in St Neots in uh, the UK. I've uh, on the desk before me. I've got the new Pico v uh, VNA 106. Um, as you can see, rather small and conveniently portable instrument. Uh, I've got my laptop and I'm going to uh, uh, give you a little bit of a, a walk through some of the um, uh, software controls uh, on the, uh, the Pico VNA 106. So um, I'm using it here to measure a, uh, a low pass filter as you'll see. Let's uh, start up the software. Uh, the software is uh, loading the calibration and status that was previously in use. I don't know why that is because uh, somebody else was using it at the time. So let's load a calibration and status that we do know. Uh, I'm going to be using this, uh, I'll use this uh, one I prepared earlier, a dark theme one. Let's uh, open that up and we can uh, start the sweeps and hopefully you can recognize there that I've got um, the four S parameters immediately on the screen here, S11, top left, S21, uh, top right, S12, bottom left, and S22, uh, bottom right here. And hopefully you will recognize that as a, it's what a low pass filter and its bandwidth is about, uh, about a gigahertz. So I'm sweeping all the way from, uh, well, what's this, about 12 megahertz all the way out to six gigahertz here. Let's have a little bit, uh, a look at some of the controls. I can directly access the sensitivity of this plot here. I simply click on the parameter at the top right here and you can see I can drag out the sensitivity to whatever level I like. To reinstate it I can uh, uh, right click on and enter directly there from the keyboard and get us back to the uh, original setting. Let's drag the, uh, the offset control here, the um, uh, reference offset. You can see that is uh, 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 moving us up and down the screen and likewise I can simply grab the, the reference level, the little triangle here and we can uh, move that to wherever we want it on the screen as well. So direct access uh, to um, any of the controls we want uh, very quickly on, on the screen here. Um, let me point out as well that we've got, what have we got? We've got seven markers up on the traces here and you can see below the plots we've got um, uh, low resolution readouts of every marker on every channel. Um, uh, so convenient readouts at the bottom of the plots. Uh, over to the right you can see that I have a little bit more detail. I have for uh, channel 2, graph 2 here, S21, uh, you can see I've got frequency detail and a higher resolution readout coming off uh, each of the markers. If I click into uh, channel 1, uh, channel 1 becomes the active channel and the table now shows us the high detail readouts for, um, uh, for channel 1 and for S11 in this case. Uh, we can uh, simply launch into uh, the plot here, grab hold of one of the markers and we can pull the marker to any feature of interest that we, that we would want to measure. Uh, let's drag that one back and um, you can see that if I jump to another channel and drag it, uh, then uh, drag a marker, then the channel becomes the active channel. And so I can quickly move to features of interest on any one of the plots and get those uh, readings that I need. If I don't want the um, uh, if I don't want the uh, markers displayed, I have the option to go to the markers menu and turn them off. Uh, and off they go, and my screen is uh, dedicated to the uh, the plots alone. Let's uh, we'll just put those back on though. Let's load another theme here. Let's go up to the uh, file menu, load cal and status. It tells me to stop the sweep, so I'll do that. File, uh, load cal and status. And we're going to, we'll load this theme here for this particular unit. Uh, we'll call this the light theme, shall we? Let's get that started. And we'll move to some other flexibilities of our display here. So in the display menu, Let's move down to channel 3. It's currently showing S12. Let's put that over to S11. 
and let's go to channel 4 and let's put that over to S21 and uh, close that menu. So now I've got two identical plots on the left, two identical plots on the right. What's the point of that? Well, let's uh, increase the sensitivity of this one. We'll pull that one down to five. We can pull this one down here. So basically what we're saying here is any one of the channels can display any one of the parameters. And in fact, they can all display the same parameter if we like. Uh, they, uh, th thus we can look at different parameters with different sensitivities or the same parameter at different sensitivities. Here I'm showing the, the roll off, the uh, the detail of the roll-off as we uh, go through the first few dBs here and then up on the top we can see the roll-off down deep, deep into the noise floor. Uh, let's uh, change some things around here. Where should we go next? Let's bring the focus over onto the two upper plots. So uh, channel 1, channel 2, let's um, just display those, apply, close. Uh, so I brought the focus to the, uh, just the two, the two plots. I've got S11 at the top, S21 at the bottom. Let uh, channel 1, S11, let's pull up a Smith chart, shall we? There we go, apply. And let's pull up S21, let's pull that one up as a polar linear, apply. So I've got two completely different forms of plot here. Uh, you can see I've still got my marker readouts. My marker readouts have, um, have changed uh, into uh, vector readouts, as you might expect for a Smith, uh, a Smith chart here. So we've got um, uh, low resolution numbers here, uh, and then over on the markers, uh, the markers table here, we've got the higher resolution numbers uh, with some uh, further detail for all of the markers on the plot. Even on these polar plots, we are able to grab hold of markers and pull them around and uh, look at any feature we wish to uh, on the polar plot. The polar plot at the bottom uh, of, the, um, of the display, that's not looking very sensible at the moment. It looks like all of the data is in the middle of the screen, uh, in the middle of the plot. Let's uh, pull up the sensitivity there. We can see if we pull that out to, there we go, we can see the uh, uh, detail more simply by pulling out the sensitivity of the, uh, of the readout or of the plot. If you want more details of the product, uh, go to our website where you'll find lots more details and I'm sure you'll find uh, more videos like this helping you through the, uh, the user interface and the features of the Pico VNA 106.